Yo yo, what's good YouTube? Today it's gonna be the 16th video in the series where I'm gonna show you guys how to make a search page. Alright, so all I need you to do is basically just go into your root folder and create a search.php. I'm just gonna tell you the steps real fast, alright? We're just gonna create a search.php. We're gonna create a forum. And inside that forum, we're just gonna add in the WordPress uh functions and everything we need to echo and finally step number three we're just gonna do another while an if statement and a while post uh, a while loop i'm sorry a while, an if statement and a while loop so we could basically show the posts that we searched for so in three steps basically how you do it all right so let's just start off with everything i did in this page very simple all right, why I first did search.php, let's just go into the template hierarchy. All right, let me just close all of this. All right, and go into, let me just get the link from over here. And all the links are already gonna be in the description, guys, all right? So this is the search results page, if you see on the bottom left over here. So basically when you do a search, it's gonna go to search.php and then like all the other pages from the WordPress hierarchy template as you could see here according to the lines over here it just goes into index.php but we're basically going to do a search PHP and we're not going to use the index.php to uh, display the posts because there is a search.php so it's going to go to search.php first however uh, if you don't want this to be the default search page you could just name it whatever you want and just include it in whatever you want to search that like if you want to include it into your single post page for example and then it's just going to show the index.php right but for now i'm just going to show you the search.php so just go into your root folder like i said create a new file called search.php make a template name as I showed you before in the comment, as a comment, and just make it a search page. All right, just in case you wanna include it somewhere else or whatever, I just for you to know that this is just the search page that you made, all right? You don't actually need to do that because you're not gonna use a single search page unless you actually want to. So you could actually do that as well if you want to. You could just use this as a single search page. So let me just do that in the admin page, all right? So let me just go into localhost, WordPress, and WP admin. Just quickly, quickly, just the page. Add a new one. Let's call it search, and then just get it from the template over. It's gonna be the search page. Publish that, and if we view the page. It's basically it's basically just gonna be the search page uh, just a simple search page right this is the simple search page I created so let me just explain to you what I'm doing right now so basically I need you to understand something this is a basic form all right a simple search form as I said it's a search form so basically we're just gonna do a rule of search with the method of get uh, which is basically like this if you know what I mean it's get we're not posting we're actually getting information which is uh, basically gonna have the action of echoing the home URL so basically the action is just gonna be set to the home URL uh, which basically means that all like every time somebody searches all the data is sent to the home URL so we don't get any errors like for now and the clash I just added that search form that's from bootstrap 5 and I also added the diff class of input group let me just show you what an input group is quickly from bootstrap 5 all right if we go into bootstrap 5 the forums the input group gonna see a basic example first with the input group of a margin bottom 3 margin bottom 3 whatever 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 all right so basically it's just Placing like uh, like you could extend the forum controls. You could you could basically it's just 
for me it just basically organizes the input group for me and you could also do like an input group text like as you could see here an input group text so basically it just organizes the input group you want all right like uh, it's an input group so basically like if you want this input with this button or with this uh, label I'm sorry or this pan so basically see it's just you're gonna do a span with the class of input group text and then an add on wrapping so we could actually do that as well we could just take this class but I'm gonna show you why I'm not gonna do that because I actually have a little bit of a different uh, type of input group all right but I have a form label that's basically just a rounded uh, form label you could do that with a rounded five so if you go into where's my yep search page I'm just gonna make a rounded five I don't know if you could you guys see that or not I just made it from rounded to rounded five and the width is at 100 let me try to make that width at 50 for example so yeah, the the width is now right now at 50. But let me let's make it 100 because we want to make it 100, and just make it for forum one for now. The label is ended, and then here's where everything really needs to be explained. All right, the input that we're gonna have here is gonna have the type of search with the ID of forum one. So make sure that the ID over here to match the four over here. All right very important uh, it is not actually a hundred percent but you could just like do that for now because basically we could just add in this label search I'm sorry it's just the label it's not actually a hundred percent like useful but you could just add a search whatever but I don't need that actually you could just remove that let me just test out my form yeah we don't actually need that I'm sorry guys so we don't need that at all and basically right now like I said we have an input of type search with the ID of form 1 and the class of form control again rounded and in the value I'm getting the search query which is basically just echoing the search query variable of WordPress let me also show the, that from the just go into the documents always with the documents guys don't always listen to people online like basically like really go to the documents this is the best thing you could do uh, just go to the documents alright so basically the search query string is passed through the escape attribute to ensure that it's safe for placing it in HTML library basically it's just uh, retrieving the content of the search request WordPress, uh, WordPress query variable like I said before and it's passed through the escape attribute over here that we're gonna use which is gonna be escape attribute X all right here it is let me show you just the escape attribute X as well what that is I don't want you to get lost and again all these links are going to be in the description but you guys have to go into the codex just uh, whatever you need is probably going to be here so basically what this says is if there is no translation or the text domain isn't loaded the original text escaped and returned so basically this is just translates the string with something called get text context all right it escapes it for safe use in an attribute so basically what this does it just translate the string you and here yeah you add here with the context as well and the domain all right so let me show you just the yeah translate with get text context here it is it just retrieves the translation of text defined in the context so basically whatever text you're gonna search for defined here it's just going to be returning it with the escape attribute X to make it safe and then return it as an HTML attribute using the uh, 
translate with get text context but as simple as that you just use escape attribute x to use it all right so we go over here and one last thing make sure that the name is equal to s uh, let me just check out if we search for that what's gonna be showing that but I do remember that this was very uh, important like if you could see here like this is just repeating itself name s name equal s name equal s I am not 100% sure guys to be honest why we have to add that name equal s but for just to this tutorial just add it for now but as you can see even if a custom yeah in a custom search form here uh, the input itself should have a name of an s and an id of search for example and php the search query for example but we're here using the get search query instead instead of the search query we're getting the search query all right uh, and also is just adding over here just an input so we don't have to continue showing this example but this is something that was just added like seven years ago so this is just an example of a custom search form that PHP I'm also going to add this link or it for you guys to use it and I don't want to make this video longer than this so let me just continue all right afterwards I just made the input button all right I just made the class of this is the button actually it was just an input so this is just the button I'm using is just an input all right with the type of submit and the class of button with the button outline warning that's why it looks like this it looks yellow and when I hover over it, it's just yellow this is just the bootstrap five uh, buttons so let me show you that as well just go into bootstrap go to buttons not this one I'm sorry just buttons all right so you could see the other type of colors you could use primary secondary success danger warning and here they are like this is the primary secondary whatever and you could also have button tags outline buttons like the one I used over here and you could change the sizes with just the, the class name and you could also do that with a style uh, like a style and just like making the font size something and you could also use a disabled state so on and so on all right uh, all right so that's it right now and like I said I'm just using the values over here with the escape attribute X to make this so it's safe as much as I can so the value over here is just gonna be the PHP with the echo escape attribute of X and I just have this icon and it's just gonna be a submit button all right here the title just I added uh, the escape attribute again search for as an a3 so we don't have to do that if we want to we could just remove the title for now we could use the label that we used before but for now let's just keep it as it is and the place attribute is just the placeholder I'm sorry is just an escape attribute X with search and then placeholder so basically we're just using this to make this form a little bit more safer to search all right one last thing I showed you guys this before but in order for the posts to actually show you need to get the while post in home the while loop I'm sorry just do an if statement with half posts and a while loop with half posts and to the post itself and basically just this is the 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 code you're gonna loop over so whatever you're gonna add over here is just gonna be looped over and done multiple times then ending the while ending the if and I'm just getting the footer and the header which are the basically just the header and the footer uh, alright well let's go into single.php that's uh, where I added that so if you go into single.php I just included search.php over here all right under here let's search for slider for example so here are the slider posts if we go to over here it's gonna take a slider post 3 yeah, let's search for test for example 
So we have test, test four, test two. We'll go test two, for example. I just added some posts over here, and this is the sidebar. This is the default sidebar, by the way. If I did um, fail to mention this in the preview video, this is just get sidebar. This is just the default sidebar, right? So that's it, all right? I'm sorry this video was a little bit long, but I hope I explained everything. This is how you make a search form. And be careful in search forms as much as you can, guys, in PHP because these can get very unsafe and they could be used uh, like against you guys so make sure when you're adding this to revise this or if you're not sure about the code 100% I would advise you to use a plugin instead of just adding unsafe code uh, to your code or to a product that you're presenting to a client or whatever alright but right now that was just a tutorial just to explain you guys how to make a custom search page.php all right, thank you guys for much. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next video, where we're gonna do something uh, very different. We're gonna do something very beautiful. Uh, basically, we're gonna be in the next video styling uh, all of this page, but I'm just gonna add in some more concepts in the next videos just for you guys to understand. If you guys like the videos right now, and if you wanna see more videos like this, just comment and like and subscribe. Alright, I don't want to make this any longer. Peace. You guys have a beautiful day.